Hello everyone and welcome back to my wine diary, the channel where everything is related to wine. Halloween is just around the corner and I figured why not to show you a few appropriate wines that you can bring to a Halloween party with you. But of course, before we jump into today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That subscribe button is still down below as well as that like button if you like this video and the notification bell for you to click on so you can see every single new video that comes out weekly from my channel. Now, 2020 has been a very bizarre year so far with the global pandemic going around. Still to this day, a lot of parties, a lot of gatherings got canceled and not happening anymore. So whether you celebrate Halloween this year or not, whether you celebrate it with just your loved one or maybe a small group of friends or in a big party, no judgment here. I've got some wines to show you that you can bring to the table that will be really, really appropriate for the occasion. Over this past weekend, I've decided to go to the Total Wine and More store, which is my favorite store to shop for wine. This video is not sponsored. I wish they sponsored me. It is not sponsored by them. It is just truly the favorite store of mine to shop for wine. They've got the biggest selection. It's super easy to find what you're looking for. Staff is super friendly and knowledgeable, so I always go there. So we went there with my fiance and we had one goal and one goal only, and that is to find bottles that will be spooky looking, Halloween looking, gory looking, anything like that. Now, I wasn't really looking at the wine types. I was mostly looking at the labels and I told my fiance, don't look at the name because sometimes he would pull like a bizarre, scary name, but the label was completely blank and not really scary. So I was going for the label only, something that you could put on a Halloween table and people would be like, yes, this totally fits the party. My my second criteria was of course to show you wines that are affordable. I personally myself do not buy uh, wines that are over $20 a bottle. On rare, rare occasions, I will splurge and get something more expensive, maybe something at a restaurant and whatnot. But for the most part, my personal price range is anywhere from $12 to $20. That's what I stick to. And all of the wines that I have today are within that price category. Matter of fact, I will link uh, or insert their price tag on the screen as I present you each and single one of them. I have six wines in front of me. I have two uh, Syrahs, one of them is Shiraz, second one is Petit Syrah, which is practically the same thing. And then I have three red blends and I have a Merlot. So we will start with the Syrahs. I will show you each bottle at a time. Remember, you can find them in any other store before Halloween, so check your stores. Maybe write down the name or take a screenshot of this video, walk into your store and ask them if they have that wine available. So the first wine that we have is this 2018 Shiraz from Australia. By the name Shiraz, you can already see that it's from the Southern Hemisphere, so it's probably either Australia or maybe South Africa or so, but um, Australian wines are definitely called Shiraz instead of Syrah. So this one in particular um, is just the one that I picked based on a label. Let me show you the label a little bit closer. So 19 Crimes is famous for prisoners on the label of their bottles. So this one just had um, this guy right here. Not sure what his name is. There's probably a history behind it, but um, I've tried 19 Crimes before. It's a pretty good wine. Again, you don't have to stick to this particular one. They have other types. They have red blends, they have cabernets, um, and they had all sorts of prisoners all looking pretty spooky. So I think that this wine would fit uh, perfectly on a Halloween table. Now in the back here, you can see the history behind 19 crimes, which I think is super cool because not only that you can educate yourself, you can also tell the story to your friends at the Halloween party. Now, other things to mention here is that this is a 13 and a half percent ABV wine. So it's a pretty standard ABV content for your Shiraz. The second bottle that I would like for you to consider bringing to your Halloween party is the Spellbound. This is a Californian Petit Syrah. Spellbound has been around for a very long time. The bottle is pretty noticeable on store shelves. So you can find this one in many, many stores. I can definitely tell you this because I've seen it at many, many stores. So overall, a pretty good wine. I've had it before. Good price range. I will link the price on the screen right now. And it is a Napa Petit Syrah. So frankly, you can't go wrong with this one. The next three wines that I'm going to show you are red blends. All three of them are red blends. This first one is called Melodramatic Darkness. 
I have never seen this wine before. I have not tried it, so I'm very curious to see uh, how it turns out. But my fiance picked up this one. He thought that the picture looked super creepy with the gentleman and the lady right there. Um, again, like I said, it's from California. It doesn't really tell me much about the history of this winery or this wine in the back. It is a 2017 uh, vintage and the, let's see what the ABV is, 13% ABV, so it's a little bit on the lighter side. Now the cool thing here is that on the back you can see the name of the grape varietals that were used to make this red blend. Can you see the 75% villain? I mean, how appropriate is this for Halloween? The next red blend that I have here for you is the Seven Deadly Red. It's a 2016 vintage. This wine I have also tried in the past. I think the label is beautiful and super fitting for um, super fitting for Halloween for sure. So really, really like this one. Let's see. I want to make sure that we've got the focus going. There we go. Good looking bottle. This one is now. What does it tell us in the back? Uh, does it tell us which wines they which wine they blended, which grapes they blended? I don't see much on this bottle here, but I can uh, definitely attest to the fact that this one is a pretty good wine, very rich, uh, blood-looking red. The third red blend that I have for you today uh, to bring to your Halloween party with you is this Witching Hour. It's a California red blend. It is what vintage is this one? It doesn't give me a vintage here, but look at the bottle itself. It's a pretty, pretty gruesome looking bottle. I wouldn't say gruesome, but it's just very enigmatic and witchy looking. I really like this one. Now, Witching Hour has other wines as well. I know for sure that they have uh, a Cabernet Sauvignon and I think they have Merlot as well. So the labels are a little bit different. One was dark blue, the other one was I think purple or something like that. This one to me was the, the gloomiest looking one and I thought it would be a great addition to your Halloween table. The last Halloween suggestion that I have for you today is this Velvet Devil Merlot. It's a 2018 vintage. The Velvet Devil was around for many, many years now. I mean, I remember buying this wine years back. I am having a hard time having my camera focus. I don't know where the focus is here. Let me see. There you go, this is better. So this wine has been around for very, very many years and it's a Washington State wine. Very good tasting wine. I've been drinking this one for many years now. Very good price tag as well. Of course, it's got the devil's fork here. So in my opinion, perfect addition to your Halloween table as well, whether you're at the party or just want to have some spooky wine on your own on Halloween. And here you go. Here are my six wine suggestions for you to bring to a Halloween party with you or put on a Halloween table for yourself and your loved one. If you tried any of these wines, please leave me a comment down below and tell me which one you prefer, which one you like better. If you have any other ideas or any other wines that you know look very, very spooky and would be a great addition to your Halloween party, let me know in the comments down below as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and then of course subscribe to this channel. I post videos all wine related on a weekly basis, so don't miss out on any of them. Thank you so much for joining me today and until next time, cheers everyone.